¿Qué tiene? Tengo del día, <coughs> tengo potaje de lentejas y picadillo, carne molida a la jardinera. Ok. Um, ¿qué, ¿Qué es más popular? ¿Ah? ¿Qué, qué es uh, más popular? Los dos. Este es el picadillo. Ok. Y este es el potaje. Yeah. Ok, ok, ok. ¿Tiene verduras? ¿Tiene choricito? Sí, es aquí, aquí. ¿Una media? Uh, una. Por favor. ¿Plátano? Uh, ¿Es plátano? ¿Cocido? Uh, no, gracias. No, no es bueno. Sí, bueno, Pretty delicious and healthy. There's even lentils in here. Canesin is the second largest city in the state of Yucatan with a population of 140,000 inhabitants. And although it is its own city, many would consider it a part of Merida, the state capital. The word Canasin comes from the Mayan word Kanzin Che, which is a shrub with reddish flowers from the region. According to the results presented by the second population and housing count, of 2005, the municipality has a total of 11,237 people who speak an indigenous language. Today, Catholicism is the most prominent religion. Located in the center of the city, there is a temple dedicated to St. Joseph, which was built in the 17th century. In the same park, there is also a monument dedicated to Nachi Kokom, who was once the leader of the indigenous Kokomas people who fought fiercely against the Spanish conquistadors. After the Spanish conquest, the area became part of the encomienda system. One of the first encomenderos was Francisco Sosa, who had 209 indigenous people in his charge. Later it passed to Josefa Diaz Bolio, who had care of 211 locals, and then to Reverend C Sister Maria Josefa, who had 155. Yucatan declared its independence from the Spanish crown in 1821, and in 1825, Canasin was established as head of its own municipality. Besides the center of the city, people visiting Canasin can check out some nearby haciendas, which were where these types of encomiendas took place, such as Hacienda San Idelfonso Tea, or also known as Hacienda Tea, which was founded in 1683 by Idelfonso Antonia Marcos Bermejo Calderón y de la Helguera, the wife of the Count of Miraflores. For two centuries, it was a livestock plantation before converting to grow maize and then hennequin. During the 17th century, Tea and the 
Nopat Estancia, located in Uman, were the largest and most profitable haciendas in the Yucatan. In 1874, the owner, Manuel Avila, died, and a new owner, Joaquin Mendiola, took over the property. In 1915, the owner, Alfredo Medina, was ordered to give a piece of land to the Agrarian Committee of Canasin for the benefit of the residents who had no plots for cultivation of their own grain or for cutting firewood. It was later abandoned and in 1974 was purchased by Jorge Cardenas Gutierrez and from 1987 to 1991 Cardenas reconstructed and restored the property into a hotel and restaurant. For the festivities of all the saints and faithful departed, in Canasin it is customary to place an altar in the main place of the house, where the deceased are offered the food they like the most and the traditional mukbil chicken accompanied by atole, which is a drink made of chocolate and corn. During these festivals, the inhabitants dance the harana, some of which entering into harana dancing competitions and some of which attending the bullfighting events. So I hope you enjoyed this video of one of the municipalities surrounding the city of Merida. If you enjoyed this video, I have other videos of the beautiful and historic towns surrounding the city of Merida, such as Motul, Izamal, etc. So if you'd like to see those videos, you can find them on this channel. I have a link in the description for uh, the playlist of all the videos I've made in the Merida region. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you'd like to see those other videos of the city of Merida, I have a link in the description below this video where you can find uh, all those videos of Merida, as well as the other videos I've made uh, traveling throughout eastern Mexico this time around in 2021. You'll also find in the description a link to the first time I traveled through Mexico three years ago, bicycling through the country, through western and central Mexico. That was part of a larger trip, bicycling through Latin America. I've also bicycled through eastern Africa and eastern Europe. And I have playlists for all those countries that I've bicycled through available on this very same YouTube channel, Hum of the Earth. Alternatively, if you'd like to see an interactive map of everywhere that I went and everything that I got to see and do, I have that available over on my website, followthehumoftheearth.com. where you can click on the different locations and see the various blog posts and videos that I've made of those places. And if you'd like to follow my continuing adventures through Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula and beyond, you can do so by clicking on the red subscribe button and clicking on the bell to be notified when new videos come out. All right, so that's gonna do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.